Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to break that horrible 1-2-2 defense. We will break it down from every position possible. And I'm gonna bring you to the Hoops IQ virtual court to show you specific plays on how to make this 1-2-2 defense look ridiculous. I'm Coach Novak, let's break it down. This 1-2-2 defense can be extremely frustrating for the coaches, the parents, and the players. It might seem so easy from the stands, but from the court, your point guard is staring at three defenders. And they don't know it, but they're just moments away from being trapped. Now, as a coach, it's extremely important to understand what the 1-2-2 defense is trying to do to you. And then you'll understand where to move the ball to break this defense. Once you and your players understand the jobs of the defenders, you can run plays to counterattack them. First of all, the top defender of a 1-2-2 is normally forcing you to a side, but he's not being overly aggressive on the ball. The top man is just waiting for you to make that first pass, or he's waiting for you to dribble into this dead area. And then those wing defenders are gonna jump up and trap you just above half court and then you're trapped on all four sides. Then that backside defender cuts off the pass to the opposite guard, which is the first reaction of the point guard, and that results in a cutoff pass and easy fast break layups. When I first started coaching little third graders, I remember a team that played this 1-2-2 against us and it was an absolute nightmare. You must be prepared mentally. The physical part is pretty easy, but mentally you have to understand the concepts and where to move the ball. The backside defenders will jump to the corner on the ball side, and then the backside defender will usually step up a little. But they'll hang out in this area, not overly aggressive. So normally this is what happens. The ball is inbounded, all four of the offensive players normally just run down the court and they spread out. And normally running a five out offense, everybody runs to a position. So this normally looks like a man to man defense to most offensive players. So the point guard thinks he could dribble to the side without much pressure. As soon as he crosses half court, that second level of defenders step up and trap. That's when the passes are cut off to the corner and back to the top which results in that immediate turnover. Another common one you'll see is the point guard brings up the ball, the wing looks open, so immediately passes it up to the wing. That's when the top defender will jump and trap them on the sideline, and that wing defender will jump out as well, locking them in that corner area at half court. And his first reaction, give it back to the point guard, and this is when passes are normally tipped or cut off, and again, easy layups. We commonly see coaches yell for, to get the ball to the corner. So the point guard brings up the ball, get it to the wing, and then you hear the coaches yell, push it to the corner immediately. So he passes immediately to the corner because he looks wide open. But once again, this defense is designed to trap in the corners. So once it gets to the corner, that bottom defender runs out, the backside helps, and then you have this wing defender who drops down and now you have a trap in the corner, which is even worse. That's no man's land. So he immediately wants to get the ball back out, back to the wing. That's when the top defender cuts it off, more tip passes, more turnover. Now I'm gonna show you the first way to break the 1-2-2 zone. The first way we're gonna break that 1-2-2 defense is to remove the top part of the zone. How do we do that? Usually this top defender is a long athletic player with quick hands. This player normally makes it really hard on the point guard with all those tip passes. So we're gonna take him out of the play completely. When the ball is inbounded, this wing will first run down the court. He'll work to get behind the defender. It's important that he gets down the court first so that he's not visible by this top defender. As the point guard approaches at a mild speed, this player will then step up and set a back screen. The guard can then accelerate a little bit, come around that screen strong and towards the middle of the court. As this happens, we have to make sure that this inbounder stays spread to the wing. This is how you put that second level defender in a really tough spot. His job is to guard that wing. So many times when you run this high screen, your point guard is gonna be free to push to the foul line. Now at this point, those backside defenders have a, a decision to make. They're either gonna step up or stay out. Now this is the option the point guard has. They have a foul line floater. If that big steps up, he can drop it to the baseline, uh, to that block area for a layup, 
or a kick out to the corner for an open shot. But even with this pass to the corner, the play does not have to end with a corner three. You'll now have the one, two, two all out of sync. The smart play here would be to kick it to the wing, make the extra pass. Now this wing would attack the middle and kick to opposite, or they attack it to the middle and kick it back to that same corner where the point guard is now and continue to move through. Now let's talk about the second way to beat this one, two, two defense. Option two is to spread the floor with two wings in two corners, just like the defense wants you to do. Now your bigs have to be active and aware of what's going on. So that corner big will now flash up to the high post. Now, depending on how high they're playing the one, two, two, they'll flash to high post or maybe even above the three point line. Now, as he flashes big and strong with his hands up high, the defense has to make a decision. Who is gonna cover this? If it's a wing player stepping inside, as the pass comes to the middle, we then pop it out to the wing immediately. Or if he's shading in early, we hit the wing first, and as he jumps the ball, then we go into middle. See, and this is exactly what we're trying to create. We're trying to put this defense in a really tough position to guard us. So right now we have the ball in the middle of the court. This is a wide open lane to the basket until he steps up right here. Now this is when you get the corner guy to cut baseline. Now you have a bounce pass for a layup or you have this wing guy who continues to run down to the corner. That's an easy kick out for a wide open standstill three. And then you have the opposite side. He'll do the same thing, drop down to the corner, another wide open shot. It puts these backside defenders in a terrible spot. Now, these two top defenders, their first reaction is to step inside and see the ball. Their head will turn to the ball. It's a natural reaction for most defenders. So nine times out of 10, they're gonna turn and see the ball in the middle of the court. They're not gonna pay attention to that outside guy who's running down to the corner on both sides. So now you can attack them, basically a four on two. This completely dismantles the one, two, two zone. Let's move on to the third way to break this one, two, two zone. The third way starts with your point guard passing immediately to the wing. But instead of that point guard staying back behind the zone, He's gonna sprint immediately with that pass through the middle of the lane. This is almost always open. As you continue throughout a game to run against a 1-2-2, you're gonna need different options and ways to break it. This is a great option because immediately when you pass to the wing, the point guard continues to sprint through. The top defender immediately turns his head to see what's happening with the ball because his job is to chase that ball and trap. That's when he cuts through and he's normally wide open in the middle of the court. These are the four keys to breaking that 1-2-2 defense. At some point, the ball must get to the middle of the floor. Whether it's dribbled through or passed through, it has to get through the middle of the floor. Number two is to quickly pass out of the trap areas. Number three, you don't have to score off of the first open look when crossing the three-point line. Number four, remember that the 1-2-2, as it's pushed down the court and we transition the ball into the half court, it then turns into a 3-2 defense. And that's beat by getting the ball into the middle to the high post and utilizing a quick pass to the block or the corners for that high-low action. Remember, the most important part of beating any zone is not to settle for bad shots. Just because you're open does not mean it's a good shot. If you rush down the court and hit a guy for an open shot and take a long three, even though it was an open shot, it might not be a good shot because now the defense didn't have to work hard and they have now a long rebound off of that long three-pointer. Remember, long three-pointers create long rebounds, which also create easy transition layups. And finally, I'm gonna give you a set play you can run against the one, two, two. First thing you want to do is run your five down, get him behind that second layer of the defense and sit in the middle, occupy that middle. You want your shooter down here in the corner. Make sure everybody else is spread out and your shooter is in that corner. We're going to have the wing come and set this screen. Our point guard is going to push to the left and then come off of that tight, giving plenty of space between the sideline and that screen. Make sure the screen is towards the middle. The next action is a three person exchange. So our screener is gonna roll, the middle guy's going down to the block, that's our five going down to the block, here it is again. Roll down to the block, and then we have our corner coming up to that wing area. Now the most important part of this is the five who just got down to the block, he's now gonna set at the block and post up. This is both gonna be a great screen 
and a post position. Now the pass comes to the wing and then immediately it'll go to the corner as that shooter runs the baseline. So shooter's running baseline, quick pass to the wing. This bottom defender has to make a decision. Either he's gonna run out to the wing or run to the corner or stay where he's at. He's in trouble. We have three, even four options off of this. But really a quick pass to the corner will get this done. Here's the whole play again for you. Get to the middle, set the screen. Here comes a point guard hard off to the right. He's basically in a one-on-one. -on -one. There's the exchange, pass to the wing. Here comes the baseline runner. That's our shooter. Quick pass to the corner and you have an open three. If you have any questions at all, comment down below. Let me know and I'll make sure to respond. Thank you for your support. Keep on subscribing. I'll keep making these videos to help you out.